Hey, welcome to Rust Revival Garage. My name is Tim. Wanted to make a quick video today on how to remove the instrument panel from a 1968 Pontiac Le Mans GTO or Tempest. Uh, there are no videos out there on how to do this. Um, I've actually searched and searched because I'm doing the interior rewiring on my 68 Le Mans. And so I realized there are no videos that show you how to do this. And a lot of people in the forums are constantly asking questions. How do you get this out? How do you remove the instrument panel? How do you take the gauge cluster out? All of that and nobody has any videos, but they do have some good advice on things you need to do. So I followed that advice and I wanted to make a video to show people how to do it. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to want to do, I think, is remove the um, headlight switch and the wiper switch. Since I'm doing my rewiring, I've already got the ignition switch out. The uh, ash, the cigarette lighter, of course, I was just able to pop that out. I do not have a radio. Um, but you might need to take that out in order to pull this out. I'm not sure, but I think my biggest issue is going to be the heater switches. Um, so I'm gonna get these two out. In order to take this out, um, it pulls all the way out and you need to release this rod. There's a little spring that's in there. I've got a video from my previous rewiring that I can link up here on how to take this out, but there's a little spring on the back of the switch you push up that spring and it releases this rod and then the whole thing can just fall back out. Ah, uh, where is that? You kind of have to keep feeling it. There it is. Little spring, you push it in and it relieves that rod. And then you need sort of a chisel to get into these two spots here. Turn a really, really wide screwdriver and then turn this out. And then that will, that will release the uh, headlight switch. Okay, let me get that down. So this comes free and your Headlight switch is now no longer connected. Um, this one's a little bit trickier. There's an indent on one side and an indent on the other side. And you sort of need to use a small screwdriver and tap it to free it because it's, it's really just a screw. Yeah, so then this is the little piece that comes off. And as you can see, it's got the two little indents in it. And you just sort of want to unscrew those and that's gonna free up the washer switch, hopefully. And the bezel does come right off. And there is our washer switch. That's out of the way. So the next thing, we want to do is there are one two screws up here there's, so there's one here there's one here at least on my car i've heard there are three so your yours may vary there's one i will never find that and So the screws are off. Now comes the harder part. I believe we want to take down our steering column. Um, essentially there are studs that are sticking out from the dash roughly underneath this one and underneath this one. And we've got to take the nuts off of each one. And there may be something on the radio. Some cars have another attachment over here. Some don't. So we will see. Okay. 
here is the steering column from below I believe it is this one and this one I do not think I do not know actually I may not need to take these two out I, I believe this is just connecting this brace to the column but this one back here is connected as well so it's these two and this one and it looks like that might be it in order to drop down our steering column and just an FYI these are 9 16 This one is 9 16 as well. And it kind of folded up. My big worry now is thinking about this, is this going to pull on any wires? I don't want it to hang on any wires. This was attached to the back of this, so I got to keep that in mind. It's almost like a little wedge. All right, got you up in here. This is behind the gauge to the right of the steering wheel when you're staring at it. That little I can't even get my finger in there. But that little speed nut, speed nut dead in the center of the screen it has to come off. And the one right there. Here is what one of the speed nuts looks like. And just to let you know, I used a quarter inch drive and this, this allowed me to sort of get back in there behind, underneath the uh, gauges. And it is a 3 8 inch socket that takes these out. I think I've got everything loosened. I ended up, there's two um, screws, uh, little bolts that are on either side of the heater. And I've got that separated. But this is just not coming out. It, uh, from what everybody says, there's the, 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 the nut there, the nut there, these pieces, this should come out. And it, the only other thing I can think of is the speedometer cable, which I know it comes out, but I can't believe it's just completely holding it in place. So I think what I might try to do is take the dash pad off. I've got all the screws off and I've heard that there are two clamps or clips on either side that you sort of have to pull really hard to get this out. Maybe that'll give me a little more access from here to see what else is holding this thing in. And also because I'm gonna break this if I keep trying to pull on this. So it's original and I don't wanna bust it. everything no there's actually one more screw here all right so I've got my dash pad out the only thing looks like that's still connecting it is there's a little dash light ah look at that there are two screws up here that I did not know about. All right. So yeah, you do definitely have to take out the dash pad and these three. That makes sense. Okay, the uh, screws are out. Um, the only thing it feels like now that's holding it in is the speedometer cable. So I'm gonna get under there and see if I can unscrew that cable. And 
should be good. I think there might still be one more on the heater too. So yeah, I never would have seen this one, but there is one more on top of the heater that will allow me to leave this and everything in place, which I want to do. I don't want to fiddle around with the cables. If I can just get this one out, I should be fine. Okay, I got, kind of hard to see, got this disconnected from here, so we're good. Looks like there's these, one of them is up here, um, but it looks like I've got this sort of wiring rubber piece. I'm going to take that off and get, see if I can get better access to the speedo cable. Got those two off. Speedo is right back here. All right, there's my speedo cable. It's a little dark. Hopefully you can see it. But And this is actually, oh, I never would have gotten to that gauge cluster. It was way at the top. All right, so yeah, this is how to remove to push down on these two brackets couldn't do it and hold the camera at the same time but he pushed down on these two and that allows this to come out what is the only wire holding me back at this point oh look at that 57 year old tape it's just falling apart in my hands all right so there's the bulb out for that And that is how to take out your instrument cluster, instrument panel, whatever you want to call it. And there we go. And I do recommend if you can to take this apart because, and leave it in there because again, it's a whole contraption back there. All right, so for the heater controls, it was screwed in here, here, and up here. I only got this one out because I was able to move it back. And then the two main screws, the bolts that are coming out, there's one under this, and that's where that speed nut went. And then the speed nut was attached to this one as well. All right, it's out. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, like I said, I'd searched and searched and searched for videos on how to get this thing out, and there's nothing out there. And so hopefully this helps somebody out. If you got anything out of the video, like it, I'd appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on how I could have done it better, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Getting it back in is gonna be a bear. Um, but yeah, and subscribe too if you can. I've got a lot going on on this channel, including rewiring this 68 Le Mans, getting it started back up again. I started the engine last year for the first time in 24 years. So subscribe, that would be awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in and we will catch you next time. Thank you.